Right, trigonometry. When you're looking for trigonometry, you're looking for right angle triangles. With trigonometry, there are three rules you need to know. It goes by Sokatoa. Okay. With Sokatoa, sine of the angle represents O is next, which is the opposite, over H, which is the hypotenuse. Ka, C represents cos of the angle, and A is ne next, which is the adjacent, over H, which is hypotenuse. And the last one, T for tan, tan is the angle for O for opposite, over A for adjacent. The hypotenuse is the longer side, and that's always opposite the right angle. So in that triangle there, that's the hypotenuse. In this triangle there, opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle you know or require is called the opposite. So opposite the angle is called the opposite and the third side is always called the adjacent. Right, first thing it asks us to do in this one is to find the length of AD. So using the length of AD is in this triangle here and I want to find this one here. So what I have is a right angle triangle. I've labelled the sides, opposite the angle is the opposite. Hype is the longer side and the third one's adjacent. Always write down so katoa and then you tick off the side you know. I know H so I can tick off H and the one you want to find. I want to find the opposite. So the one ticked off is so. So you then write down sine theta is O for opposite over H for hypotenuse. Theta is the angle and in this case is 56 degrees. So sine 56 is O for opposite, which I'm finding, divided by H, which is 16. And the opposite to divide by 16 is times 16. So I'm doing 16 times sine 56. So when you put this on the calculator, you type 16 times sin 56 equals and the one decimal place is 13.3. So AD is 13.3 centimetres. Find the size of the angle X. So angle X is up in this triangle here. So what do we know? We don't know the height. We know the adjacent because it's the same as the bottom. So the adjacent is 15, so we need to know the opposite now because to find the angle, you need to know two of the sides. So it gives me this is 23, so we must be using this for some reason. Oh, this is 13.3, which means that that bit there is going to be 23 take away 13.3, which is 9.7. So now I'm using that triangle, and I'm using, so the triangle looks like this. i got X on the bottom. This is 9.7, this is 15, and I'm trying to find X. So I label a triangle. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle is the opposite. And the third side is the adjacent. Always write down Sokatoa, and you tick off the side you know or the side you want to find. In this one, I know O for opposite, and I know A for Ange, so it's Toa. So I'm using TOA. T represents tan, so it's tan of the angle is O for opposite over A for edge. All right, and then when you print them in, it becomes 9.7 divided by 15. So you're doing 9.7 divided by 15 is equal to 0 0.646666. But you want to find theta, and tan theta is that, so you have to press tan to the minus 1 of that answer. All that means is, with your answer, you just press shift tan equals, and the answer to that, to one decimal place, is 32.9 degrees. So theta is 32.9 degrees.